MQTT is a very popular protocol for IoT devices, and DataCake has a new integration, which is as easy as drawing a rectangular on a piece of paper. And I'm going to show you how you can use that. For this example, we are using the public MQTT broker from a company called HiveMQ. They also offer a public broker, um, and when we connect to that using a tool called um, MQTT Explorer, we can see that there are a couple of devices online and sending some data. So, But there's a device, I searched for it before, which is sending us some air quality data at real time, and it's actually connected. So it's sending this using this topic, and we are now going to connect this device to data cake. So first of all, let's go back to data cake. This is an empty workspace and we are now going to create a new device. For the MQTT integration, we select API, we create a new product called that Hive device, um, press on next. We are going to give a serial number like, like Hive MQ01 and the device is Hive device 01. So we press on next, free plan, add this device. This is now added to our fleet list. We open this up click on the configuration, and then we scroll down a little bit until we get to a completely new panel, which is MQTT configuration. And here you can access third-party MQTT brokers and subscribe to topics and so on. So first of all, we're going to add the Hive MQ broker. We press on add new MQTT broker. Um, once more, we copy this address here and we paste this. The port stays the same, no TLS, because the public version of the, TL, uh, the Hive MQ broker doesn't support that. Also, we don't need um, authentication. We can test the configuration. Okay, it connected successfully. We add this MQTT broker, and the MQTT broker from Hive MQ is now connected to your workspace, and your devices can subscribe on that. So, but what we want to do is we want to access this um, information here coming from that device. So first of all, let's create a few fields in the database, like temperature um, we want to create, and also maybe humidity, we want to create this field as well. So we created those two database fields here. So now we need to link the MQTT device on that public broker to the device in DataCake. And we are going to do this by providing MQTT uplink decoders. So we add our first decoder. First of all, we are um, required to subscribe to the topic. So we go back into the MQTT broker uh, explorer and we copy this test topic slash outdoor um, topic here, paste it here. And now we need to write a short payload decoder. So I'm going to do that right now. Um, first of all, as we can see, this is JSON information coming from that device. So we need to parse the payload as JSON. We do this by writing payload is JSON dot parse the payload. Now transform to um, JSON. And then we can see, okay, there is temp and humidity, which are capital T and H. So we are going to forward to Hive MQ01. That was the serial number, the field is temperature and the value is payload.temp, sorry. And we are going to do this once more, um, but in this case, we are not using the temperature, but the humidity. So the field that we want to store the data on data cake is humidity and the value is in the payload.hum for humidity. Okay, we have created these. Um, you could also, for instance, um, check this, and now these are created here, and we need to wait a few seconds until data comes from that sensor, actually. And, oh, I forgot to choose the broker, save it once more. Now it's connected to the broker. And as you can see, it's connected to that device, and because it's retained data, it already receives the last publishes in here. Um, the broker is connected. There's also something new here in the integrations panel on the sidebar. You see a new menu item, which is integrations. When you click on that, you can see the MQTT broker that we've just um, hooked up to the workspace. You can see the logs. You can see, okay, there was that mes message coming into from the payload decoder, which is scribed to test topic.outdoor, and you can see the connection and so on. Um, also, you can see that it's connected right now. So let's go back into the device, which is online right now, go into configuration, and we can see here in the logs that the data is coming. So let me reload this once more. And then we can also see in um, the test topic decoder, it was a minute ago that it received data. And once more, we forwarded the data using this short 
payload decoder. What you now can do, you can go into dashboard and you can add a widget like um, a radio widget and then select the temperature and um, duplicate that. And we, now, nah, there you go. And we also want to have the humidity. So we save it as well. So we've got short dashboard created, but there's even more. So let's assume you want to send data back to the device. This is also possible using our new integration because we now support MQTT downlinks. This means that you can um, also write some, some short JavaScript codes to um, create a downlink, which will be then sent to a topic of any choice. So let's call this test downlink and the description is just blah, blah. And we are going to write a very short topic, which is also test topic slash outdoor, but data back, for example or downlink and the payload is hello world or json or whatever you could just put in what you want and you can use that javascript code to define your downlink and you can also include measurements in here which then also um, are being executed and you can run some calculations on that so we save the downlink we add it here and we've got this downlink in here we can call that this is now queued up will be sent and if we go to the mqtt explorer we can see that there is now the downlink hello world or if i save uh, change this um i can say data cake is best um update it send this once more and if i go to the mqtt explorer takes a few seconds there it is data cake is best so this is how downlinks are being used you can also um, take a widget, like a downlink widget, and have a button that is directly on the dashboard. Choose some like highlight color, um, save this, and then you've got the button directly on the dashboard. And you can use those MQTT downlinks also in our rules section, which allows you to create some yeah M2M things with downlinks. So this is the new MQTT integration. Um, including the new integrations tab, which show your external connected service. You can subscribe to multiple servers and add them to your workspace and then to your devices. That's it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.